Happy Monday, everybody. Um, real quick before the day starts, just want to say what's up. It's 11.23. I've been up since like 8 o'clock because I couldn't sleep this morning, but I didn't pick up the camera. Um, I am going to work out later today. I'm going to the beach actually right now with an, with an old friend of mine. Oh, it's freaking gorgeous out, so I'm going to go and hang out and enjoy the weather and then work out tonight to see Sarah and then get some good sleep for work. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm eating or uh, I lost my train of thought when I'm working. So yeah. I'm dripping sweat because my car has been sitting in the sun all day. I've been at the beach since about 12. It's almost four o'clock now. So I've been at the beach for about four hours. It's been, it wasn't too hot. It's probably like 80 with some humidity, but it was at the beach with the sun blaring down on it and then the clouds finally rolled over. My AC does not work unless my car is cool. So right now if I want to turn the AC on, it would be blaring heat, basically. It'd just be hot air. And I can't have the windows down because, well, it's torrential downpours. And then I can't have this thing open. So I have no airflow in here. I'll probably die. Um, but uh, if I don't, I will see you guys in the next clip. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit in my oven. This will be my uh, sauna, my sauna cardio, oven cardio for the day. So I'm not happy about it. Saturday, yeah, I'm going overtime. OT like it's TNT in South America. I hate being bad at anything. So anything that I want to do that I progressively am doing and I'm getting better at, if I basically put it to the test and I do bad. I hate that with a burning passion. There's nothing more than I hate than basically then losing I mean I, I've I, I never had I guess this competitive side of me or really this confidence side of me it's kind of like I, I'm a late bloomer and once I got out of high school then this new personality developed but I freaking hate losing and I didn't we didn't really lose last night I got I consecutively got to play and we were winning I mean the the five I was playing with but I played like trash and it haunted me like last night and today so I'm here I'm gonna get some shots up I'm gonna practice and um, yeah maybe I'll show you guys what I'm doing tonight I don't know but if not I will obviously talk to you guys in the morning but yeah as, as of right now I'm gonna go and put some shots up As you guys will see me over time, you'll start to understand that I'm very sporadic with what I'm doing. Like, I might tell you one thing and then do the complete opposite of that. And I don't, it like, to me, it's not a terrible thing. Obviously, it would be better if I could just fucking stick to the plan and stick it out for a long time. But how I feel, um, what I'm doing at that time, how it's felt all together, or what I've been doing for the most part, definitely plays a role in like my end up decision like not to show you guys what I'm eating or basically what this all ties into is with my calories like I was basically I went through that time where I've, I've been unable to work out for 10 months and I've had ups and downs and the beginning it was a down and then halfway through it was an up and then ultimately it led towards me going down I'm talking about my mindset and now I'm on the come up because obviously I'm able to work out but during the that downtime I really didn't eat properly I didn't eat what I should have ate and I mean I, it, I just wasn't being a good role model which is what I want to be for people that are looking to get into fitness and, and do what I'm doing I just wasn't a good role model and then I started dieting because I wanted to shut off the fat and I lost a lot of weight I lost about 20 pounds um, some of that being obviously lean, well, not lean muscle mass, but um, I don't know. it just, I look skinny basically, long story short. But now what I'm doing is since I am on the come up and I'm beginning to work out and I need more calories, I'm deciding hmm, maybe I should start uh, eating in a surplus just so that once, I mean, this winter comes around but that's the thing so this is I'm so confusing I'm gonna eat in a surplus but very slowly until like August or until late September or October that's when I'm going to actually start to eat in a surplus and start to put on basically uh, my hibernation fat 
uh, for when the winter comes and that's when I'm going to try to put on the most strength so that way next year when I can diet down again I can actually have a great deal of muscle that I've put on within the first, within one year obviously some of that being due to injury but none the least so that's what I'm doing that is my mindset always whenever I'm doing anything I'm very sporadic you guys will learn that I just took you on a complete another rant but I'm gonna go to the gym in a few I will show you guys what I'm eating uh, what I take before I go and yeah I will see you guys in the gym It is fresh. I didn't know these were so nice. watch got a beautiful matte black dial to it it has the uh, silver I, I don't know the watch terminology I mean, dial indicators I don't know exactly what it's called I mean, it's like a pre-workout um, I just ate like 45 minutes ago I had like a bagel with nothing on it and now I'm gonna have a rice krispies treat something about sugar or like little tiny sweets something like this like it's the size of I don't know, a half dollar. That's fine if you're gonna do it right before you work out or right after you work out. Something where it's gonna, every single nutrient in this, including the sugar, is going to be absorbed by your muscles by something to just help you and not hurt you like it usually does if you were to have sugar regularly. So I'm having that pre workout. I'm also drinking some Monster. That's it, no long speech to back it up. Good morning afternoon evening ladies and gentlemen this is take 20 of me trying to <laughs> create a voiceover I'm not gonna lie I'm getting a little agitated it's just because I keep stuttering and trembling over my words and I can't talk getting right into it so what I'm doing right now is I'm working the anterior head of my deltoid by doing a front delt raise so you have three heads to your deltoid. If you want bolder shoulders, you want bigger shoulders, you need to put volume into all three heads of your shoulder. So there's the anterior, the lateral, and the posterior. The front, side, and rear delt. What you want to do is work each head three sets, 12 to 15 reps, progressively overloading the weight so it becomes harder, your muscles break down, and then to become stronger to be able to keep lifting that weight in front of you. So, this is a superset. I superset it with individual dumbbell curls. I did a few burnouts at the beginning just to try to get a little bit of a fatigue going in my muscles. Or sorry, in my biceps. And then the one thing that I want to point out with this exercise is where my arms are. The, from the, sh the shoulder to my elbow sort of, that bicep region, I'm keeping it tacked to my lat. Even though I'm swaying backwards, it's really keeping my biceps engaged because my, my arm isn't coming forward and my uh, front delt is not being activated. Nothing is activated besides the bicep. So that's why I was putting so much strain in my bicep and it's just an excellent, excellent exercise if you do it properly like that. The second exercise, not much to say about this. It's an assisted pull-up. Uh, the assisted pull-ups are better, in my opinion, when you're beginning because people tend to let their egos get the best of them and they just hurl themselves up to the bar and they don't get an overall good stretch and they don't get the most out of the exercise that they should. So with the assisted, assisted see how it's allowing me to go all the way down and get a full, full, full stretch of my lats and then come and contract back up so the third exercise that i'm doing for you guys is another superset 10 stationary push-ups to 10 trx push-ups um this did affect my ac joint a little bit so i need to need to figure out my hand placement and uh everything that feels good for that but if you cannot do the 10 push-ups you can do the knee form so you're on your knees and they're kind of they're called like sissy push-ups or something you can do the 10 of those and the same with the TRX. You can do the 10 of those on your knees. 
with the TRX bands, they really work your stabilizer muscles and they have you activate your core. Um, I, I really think I'm going to start using the TRX bands more because they do work multiple muscles at once as opposed to doing the stationary ones that I was doing before which only works my chest mostly. So that would be a, the uh, sissy push up just going to your knees and pushing up like that. But that was an amazing, amazing superset. I really fatigued me, and I highly recommend that to you guys. Um, there's really not much to say about this either with the tricep push down. The only thing that I'm making sure is I'm not locking out my my um, elbows all the way at the bottom. I did experience some tendonitis um, probably a half a year, maybe eight months ago. So I'm really making sure that that doesn't come back. As long as you do not stiffly lock out your elbows every single time, that should not be a problem. Just enough to be able to squeeze the tricep at the end of the rep. So this, again, not much to say about it. It's a reverse curl. Actually, there's a little bit to say about this. And this is working my brachioradialis. That is a muscle that runs on the side of your arm. It goes down somewhat in between your tricep and your bicep and then it runs alongside into your forearms it's that weird looking muscle um, and I, I just did standard hypertrophy work three sets of 12 reps with this again I'm gonna try to progressively overload it because I need some forearm gains and like I was saying at the beginning of this commentary with the three heads of your deltoid. This is working the lateral head of my deltoid. There were two exercises that I could not record for you guys just because I do not like recording when there are beginners next to me and that was the case. So with this, I am swaying a little bit. Um, form is not the best. Obviously, I, I should have dropped some weight down and then I finished with a few pulses at the end to really, really, really fatigue the muscle. That's something I had to check my ego at the door and not do those. And here comes Sarah doing some dope ass bicep curls for the girls and that's it. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of the video. This is why they call it the dump, if you were curious. Six servings of egg whites, a chicken sausage, a serving of cheese, 152 grams of red potatoes, keeping up with the Kardashians and Sarah. I'm late. I'm tired. My face is peeling. And I'm at the hut. How you doing? What can I get for you? Uh, can I get a medium iced coffee with skim milk and two sweet and low? Mm -hmm. And can I get the, uh, the PB&J kind? Okay. 275, please. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Smells good. Taste test. Oh, that's good. I really need a nice pair of shoes for um, Connor's wedding this weekend. Red Shoe Barn has like some tent sale every year. So some of their shoes are like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna come over here and dope it out. These are the shoes that I'd like. No thanks. Nothing at all. Round two of trying to find some nice shoes for the wedding. Marshalls. Shoes were a bust, but I got other stuff that I'm gonna wear. I got a shirt, a belt, and a tie. Thirty-minute break at work, and this is what it looks like. This is how it's done.
Perfect. So originally what I wanted to do is get two of those bars and, oh, one sec. Is this offense about? Originally what I wanted to do is get two of those bars like I just showed you guys and then also some fruit because I need some extra carbs because um, the fruit's delicious and I need some, well, I don't need any, but I need some micronutrients. That'd be nice. But instead, because I don't feel like going into Market Basket because it's going to be a fucking packed, freaking packed. It's going to be stinking packed. Gosh, I need to stop swearing. It's going to be stinking packed. Um, so I just went into CBS instead. And I got that. Now I'm never going to be able to get out of here. Oh, you dick. this whole entire elaborate explanation about what I was gonna do today and I did a cool intro for the day your blinkers on but I didn't press record because it is 8 30 and I my brain is just fried so apparently I can't handle that right now and there you are thank you brother yeah you bet you gotta have a great day thanks you too thank you Time job. Yeah, well, what, when you live with four guys? Oh, boy. The coffee is good. Oops. Back again. It's honestly hot as Narnia right now. I'm just trying to be in and out. And I am not actually going to record this workout for you. I'm only going to record like one workout a week for you guys. Um, I'll explain what I did afterwards, though. So. So here's what went down that you guys missed. It was very, very, very quick workout. I'm still pretty sore from this week's workout just because, like I said, I mean, it's gonna be a long, long, long. It's probably gonna be like 50 to 100 episodes. No, it won't be 50 weeks. That's, how many weeks are in a year? Four in a month, four. that's like a year. That's like a year's worth. Yeah, that could be, potentially. Um, let me gather my thoughts. So coming back from an injury, there's a lot to it. There's a lot that I want to explain, but I just can't explain everything that I want to. Again, let me, my, my thoughts are kind of all over the place. They're sporadic. I'm going to try to put them into two points. One point is I want to help people. That's the reason I'm making these videos. I really want to be able to inform you guys on every single piece of fitness or just good life related knowledge that I have I say good life because like the biggest thing to me not even fitness wise like I like working out and I look I like looking strong mindset is the second actually that's the, the most important thing that's what I want to show you guys too like living a happy life being content with where you are or not content but being happy with where you are and striving for progression in like every single aspect of life and it starts with how you think I mean if I can do that by just showing you my outgoing personality and just how positive of a person I am for the most part that's what I'm trying to do and there's that one side of my life then there's the other side of my life the right side of my life which is I'm injured I'm coming back from an injury and I want to be able to inform you guys with how my injury is going and it's hard for me to find a happy medium or balance those two like there's gonna be weeks that are harder for me than others like this week my shoulder is sore it doesn't hurt like it used to but it's sore and I have to come back very slow and it's frustrating for me because I've been doing YouTube for like five six months and really there's been no progression in the gym and you guys are kind of seeing the same exact thing and part of me is thinking that because I, I want to make this my life as well too I want to be able to have people look at me and understand that I have knowledge in this area of life and come to me for help it's, I mean that's just those are just two random thoughts that I was just they were just weighing on my shoulders weighing on my mind that I wanted to tell you guys really quick I apologize I keep moving the camera it's just because I want to find somewhere that isn't directly in the sunlight it's hard as hot as Narnia out here um, but for the most part that's it like today was fine today was what was today it was like a, not a, not a I'm kind of past the rehab days which would be like just the inner outer um, rotator cuff work today was like whatever was feeling good I can come in and work like I work chest 
three days ago in my front delts. They're still very sore. They're very, very tender. And before that, I went wakeboarding and tubing and a bunch of other stuff. I played basketball Sunday night. Just everything on top of it is affecting my shoulder. And I mean, it's not hurting, but it doesn't feel good. And I wanted to come in here and get a good workout. And I'm kind of rambling and I don't even know what the, the point of this is, is going to be. Sorry for that rant, I don't like to talk in the cars like this because I mean, it's just not appealing to me. It's boring, but I want to give you guys every single aspect of information that I can. So, I mean, I apologize if you're someone that doesn't like the car chats. If this is giving you any information whatsoever though, if I'm helping anybody, that's all I'm trying to do. So, um, I will talk to you guys when I get home. Or when I get to Sadaz. Um, so you saw the sushi that I picked up from Whole Foods. I actually demolished both of those. <laughs> I thought one was going to be for Sarah. Trader Joe's, what did I just say? Whole Foods. Whole Foods. From Trader Joe's. Cakes, get them at Target Shaw's. They're very good. And they make those with pancakes. Um, got some butter on it, some sugar-free maple syrup. And I'm also going to throw some Reese's on it, which I'm not going to show you guys. So I'm going to eat this. Oh, it was zoomed in. Actually... I'm gonna eat this, and then that's it. So that ends the in route. I think this is number five. So I'll see you tomorrow for my weekend vlog. Thank you all for watching, and I'm out.